Harry and Meghan may have slit that accept a Christmas invitation to Sandringham, but royal insiders have revealed the pair would be unlikely to be welcomed with open arms. The Californian couple last ventured to the Norfolk estate in 2018. Before the big family fallout, that Oprah interview, that Netflix documentary and that tell-all autobiography. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex appear keen to build bridges, sources claim their recent bizarre love bombing from Montecito has backfired. The chances of a Christmas invitation are slimmer too, given the complete breakdown in William and Harry's relationship. The guest list is being radically shaken up, though, this year and is set to include Queen Camilla's children and grandchildren for the first time. Christmas lunch is even being moved to a bigger room to accommodate all the extra guests, even if there isn't quite yet space for the Sussexes. I think this is lovely about Camilla's family being part mm -hmm. of the big royal occasion because Camilla has always let it be known that she, you know, she was slightly reticent to to take on all those formal roles and she was absolutely not going to give up her own family, that her own family wouldn't be collateral damage for her new constitutional role. And so it was very obvious at, at the constitute at the coronation, you know, that she had her grandchildren as her page boys, that she had the grandchildren's names embroidered on the dress. There were lots of little messages that she had her own family and this this was now a blended family in that very modern parlance and i and i think that's that's lovely you know she's got her two kids she's got you know, all her grandchildren we know she's very very close to them she does wordle with one of her granddaughters every day and all this stuff and i think that makes her much more approachable and and normal i think she is very approachable i mean i think it's interesting that you mentioned that <clears throat> i used to work with tom and you know just Given the circumstances, Tom Parker Bowles, just for those people Definitely. who are thinking, the food critic, Tom. yeah, so <laughs> very you know easy to get on with and just gets on with his job and kind of lets all that stuff go yeah. inside it. And indeed, I've met uh, the now Queen uh, in in sort of past. So, so she remembers she remembers everybody very very personal. And I think it's absolutely right that you know they, they would put that personal touch. But I think when it comes to Harry and Meghan, mm. I think you know papers will probably make a big deal. They'll either be invited or they won't. They'll either turn up or they won't. And frankly, I think they're all polite enough that if they did. Turn up, they'd, they'd, you know, but they'd cover over the cracks. Isn't the, I mean, part of the problem as well is the fact that if they do come over here, they've got nowhere to live, so they actually do have to have some kind of protection, don't they? And they have to, therefore, there has to be a house allocated they to don't have, them. They, they, they always Although have the, the offer of, of, of a, yeah. a, a flat in Buckingham Palace. Yeah, they could always have yeah. I, I mean, yeah. it would liven up your Christmas. Travel lodge. I, I, I would imagine there are travel lodges the everywhere. Travel lodges all over the place. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I agree. I, I, I kind of... Like Camilla, I always did, even when she was being castigated. But it's kind of interesting, is it? Separate point, largely, but they talk about, you know, Meghan had this horrendous treatment from the tabloids. No yeah. one on planet Earth had it worse That's than Camilla true. Parker Bowles. Yeah. It was relentless. Yeah. It was Wars. horrific. It was it horrible. Was non-stop. It went on forever. Mm. However, um, I think we've turned out to quite like her, and you imagine that over a, a, a swift sherry, she's yep. probably a bit of a giggle. Quick fag. But I, yeah, quick cigarette <laughs> and a sherry. Jobs are good. Um, <laughs> she doesn't speak quite... like that. But I, I think to Harry and Meghan showing up at Christmas, I think it would, you know, throw a positive spanner in the festive works. I think it'd be quite fun. G give us something to talk about. Giggle. Charades would look different. Harry, 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 Harry and Meghan, they're damned if they do and damned if they don't. They're being yeah, accused they're of love bombing yeah. because he dared to call his dad on the birthday and showed him the grandkids. Like, how dare he share his, his kids with, with, his, with his father? So I think, it's really, yeah, I think it's really good that the, the things are thawing. I don't think William is going to allow them to, mm. to yes. go and join the Christmas Day. I think that's, that, that seems to be the message that it'll slightly be at the moment over William's dead body and yeah. that maybe they'll come for New Year or something like that when mm. William, William and Kate are safely back in yeah. Norfolk. You can't be slagged off that relentlessly and just kind of go, oh, yeah, no, that'll be OK then. You know, it takes time, doesn't it? It takes time to repair. And William, time William, William is a bully. William is a bully, don't forget. It's William who hit Harry. Uh, yeah. Ripped his neck. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pushed him into a dog bowl.